Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Eric Neal. Today we are going to be doing a new game with our Let's Play. Uh, it is going to be Game Dev Tycoon. Some of you have probably heard of it. Uh, in Game Dev Tycoon, you experience the last 35 years or so of video game history and you guide your own startup video game company uh, through that entire uh, time period. Um, so let's get started. Uh, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you've been transported back in time, blah, 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 35 years, blah, blah, blah. Gain fans and become the leader of the market. Let's go. Um, let's see, what will we name our company? Uh, let's call it Not So Epic Games. I like it. Eric Neal. Male. Give me my hair color. And let's wear a. Ooh, I like it. A vest. Uh, I have played before, so we're going to unlock the hints. And that way you can see. Uh, basically, it gives you tips on when you're developing your game. So let's import previously gained hints. Get rid of Cod Piece Gaming. All right. So to start off the game, you are alone in your garage. Develop a new game. Pick a topic. What do we have? Military? Great. Uh, let's do strategy. On the PC, you see the G64, which is the Commodore 64. And yeah. Um, you can see their market shares, the development cost for them. Uh, and if you have hints, genre matches. I've never made anything for the Com Commodore 64 because, well, I know how that story ends. Um, so, PC. Uh, it's a military strategy, so let's just call it Age of War. Why not? Next. And I'll ask you to pick your graphics. Uh, let's do 2D graphics. Alright, can you see these bubbles popping up? Uh, that will happen before initial uh, development. And you see here, if you have hints unlocked, you can see um, what's most important. Gameplay is the most important thing, so you allocate the most amount of time to it. Engine is the next most important. Story quest, not important at all. That's what a minus means. So, if we allocate about that, it looks about right. You get research points, you'll get technology points, and design points. And as you play, you'll also create bugs. Usually, the more technology you work on, the more bugs you'll create. Level design, artificial intelligence, dialogues, unimportant. So let's pop this off real quick. Da, 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 da. Looks like this game might actually turn out pretty well. Uh, sound. For your first game, if you get tens, you're doing fairly well. Um, research, that doesn't matter. That's something you use outside of this, outside of the game creation. Uh, but for technology and design, if you get tens in those for your very first game, you've got a pretty decent start, and chances are you'll do well, provided the rest of your game was picked well. Like, military and strategy go well together, and they do very well on the PC. So, let's finish off Age of War. Development happens in three stages, where you control those sliders three different times. Looks like this is gonna be a very good game. Wait a little bit for the bugs to get finished off, and then maybe get a little bit more into technology, which happened. All right, so this is our baseline. Bonus 1.5, new topic, new combo. I don't really worry so much about the bonuses because I don't care. It's more about the monies. Research. You can research in custom game engines. So like Square used to use the white engine when they did uh, CG and whatnot. Uh, not CG, uh, their cinematics. And they also use it for in-game. I don't know what the new Square Engine is called. I think it's Black Engine. Uh, but that said, this is where you would make those. Also, you can sub-research new topics like government, uh, which we are going to, actually, because we can make government sims. Which you may know as, I don't know, uh, Sim. Sim City. Whatever. Uh, game reviews. Right. So this is how you determine the success of your game. And it is how these four magazines to t uh, feel your game was on a scale of 1 to 10. Sevens are pretty decent. Sixes are okay, but you want sevens or above. 
Like eight? Excellent. So, all right, not a bad game. Uh, it's like a 7.25 or something like that. And you can just click on it and check your game history, 7.25. All right, up here, not so epic games. A newcomer in the game industry has just released their first game, Age of War. Game if you receive favorable reviews with such a good start, not so epic games are sure to gain fans quickly. Here's hoping. Here, up here, you see uh, the number of units sold. Uh, also, you can see how many fans you have, the year of the game, the month, and the week, which can matter uh, because G3 happens, I think, in June-ish or March, something like that, earlier in the year. And G3 is a game, it's, just, it's E3, and you can get more fans and better sales out of it. We'll get to that later. Um, overall, this is doing pretty well. Generated game report allows you to get more research by viewing how the game did, what people said about it, so on and so forth. Sales record over 10. Honestly, if you sell more than 10,000 units with your first game, you did a pretty decent job. So it looks like this game might do fairly well. Uh, not so epic games by that, I mean. Cash, over 100,000 from the first game. Not bad. Let's develop a new game. Pick topic. Government. Uh, simulation. PC. Um, what do we want to call it? SimGov. Why not? 2D graphics again. Here's our initial thing. And nothing's really going to change. Not bad. The AI is more important. Level design is a little less important. Now remember, this is just for government simulation games. It'll change every uh, for every type of game combination that you try and do. Graphics are very important, sound, mildly important, world design, not at all. Remember, even if you put the slider down to zero, there's still a little bit of stuff that gets uh, a little bit of time spent on it, which helps. It helps to remember that. All right, we sold over 15,000 units, which is not bad at all. And here you, every, here's another thing, you'll get uh, in-game story elements, basically moments in history, uh, little bits of information, news articles like this, that the Governor 64, Commodore 64, is steadily outselling competitors. <laughs> My favorite thing is this next bit. Experts say this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Oh, if you only knew. Oh, that's all the last 35 years have been. All right, let's see. This game will turn out quite well. Probably 12, 12 again. Yep, there we go. 12, 13. So that'll set a new record on technology. Uh, not so much on design. Or I guess it will. Um, new topic, new combo, great. Uh, as you level up in experience, you'll do better when you focus on these features like story quest, dialogue, during the slider portion. And you'll be able to accomplish more each time. Uh, so let's release the game. First reviews came in. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, gorgeous. Looks like uh, SimGov is going to be very popular, which doesn't shouldn't surprise anyone if you played SimCity. I mean, really? Okay. Let's generate the game report. Also, a very important note, never release two similar games in quick succession. So don't release two simulators, don't release two strategy games, don't release two RPGs, action, whatever. Don't do it, the market will get bored with you and it will not sell well. Um, Ninvento is about to launch the TES, the entertainment system. Uh, so yeah, that's the NES. Uh, I don't really release games on the NES because, well, it's expensive and they don't always do well. Mm, let's see. Not bad. Already selling or selling outselling the last game, which is great. Let's see. Not quite ready to research game engines. But what about new topics? 
martial arts. Um, yeah. Let's spend a little bit of time researching. So far we're doing pretty well on cash, over 200,000 uh, from the second game. That's pretty good. Over 20,000 copies sold. Research another topic. Post apocalyptic, that'll work. Now, different uh, types of games will do diff better on different consoles. And we can see that when we develop new games. Uh, you see that adventure, action, strategy, whatever. For the PC, pick a topic. Post apocalyptic, why not? Um, Adventure. Let's do that. Okay, we'll call it. Um, Sand Raid. Why not? No clever pun there or anything like that. It's just I'm bad at coming up with names for games. Sand Raid. Engine, not so important. Stories and quests, pretty important. Let's do that. SimGov sold very well. Invento releases a game. Uh, TES pretty quickly here. C. Dialogues, very important. Level design, reasonably important. Artificial intelligence, not very much at all. That looks about right. Now this game probably won't do nearly as well. You see by its scores, technology is only six, which is actually not bad. It's just not good. Design, not so great. And we're not going to wait for another bug to pop up. We'll just release it and we'll try and recoup our losses with the next game. And our gameplay and level design abilities leveled up too, so it wasn't a complete waste of time. And we will get some research points out of it when we uh, uh, do a game report on it. Let's see how it did. Yeah, not good at all. Six. Four, five. Eh. Five. Hope if we get another six, I will be content. Post-apocalyptic is not the best genre. To work with. RPG probably would have been a better choice for it. Generate a game report. Get some research. As soon as we hit 50 we'll be able to make our own game engine which helps. It matters. Contract work is a way to get quick money if you need some or quick research if you need some. So contract work. Like right here. Let's accept this contract. Maybe we can finish it in time. See if we get a research point from doing that. Come on, stop scratching your head, me. Finish it off. Tick. Talk. Now, if you fail a contract, you will be penalized and uh, that will be deducted from your account. But, so basically, just don't do one that you're not ready for. Alright. Now to. Set yourself up with a cycle, which is what I like to do for game history. I'll release three games of different types, and then once I finish one, I'll go back to the first one. So, since I just did Sand Raid, Age of War 2 is up. And it's just easier to keep track of them that way. So, Age of War 2 is a military strategy. Develop a new game. Military strategy. Age of War. PC start development engine and gameplay are both very important story and quests are not at all eh. 
We didn't really gain or lose anything from it. I think it puts us at just about where we were before we made Sand Raid. So we'll probably won't make that game again. We'll figure something else out when the time comes. Dialogue, not important. AI, very important. Look at all them bugs. Come on. Oof. Let's see how this game turns out. And nothing else. All right, finish the game. No record setting game, but we're leveling up in a bunch of other stuff, so that's nice. We'll improve our abilities in working in all of those things. Oof. This game probably not gonna sell so well. <laughs> ah, terrible. Generate a game report. Let's make our first engine here. Forty nine research. Come on, put me up to 50. There we go. No new insights. All right, research. Custom game engine, start research. Now, when you go to make your custom game engines, it does cost money for every feature that you want to put into them. Uh, for instance, mono sound or uh, newer graphics, saves, save games, things like that. People like the Nivento, uh, Nivento stuff, but honestly, we all know that the PC lasts forever. So if you're not sure, go with the PC. It's good for everything. New research available. Let's do see if we can find some contract work. Eh, nah. Create custom engine. One, two, three. We will call it Epic version one create engine now as this is another great way to get research points uh, as you produce a new gaming uh, custom game engine you will make more research or get more research points because it takes so long to make them it's just a nice quick way of making uh, of getting them but you can't spend all your money on uh, gaming engines either. So, develop a new game with that engine. Actually, real quick, I want to check research. These will each cost 15. What's the next game? SimGov. SimGov2, pick a topic, government, simulation, Epic V1, PC, let's make this game. Now you can pick features to add into the game, but note that they cost money, and as you get further in the game, you will only have so much time to allot to different features. So you'll have to start deciding which features are needed, which ones are not, which ones uh, you're more willing to sacrifice for the sake of a better game. And that's all part of uh, video game, uh, game Dev Tycoon. Target audience. Target audience is very important and it helps to market your games better. Uh, at this point in the game though, it is not the most important thing. I would say at this point in the game, developing your uh, custom game engines is probably more important. You need the technology in order to be better than the, other com than the rest of the market. So let's see, those are available. There we go. 
And now that we have a better engine, we get more points out of this. So let's debug here and we'll get some more design or technology points, hopefully design. Uh, I'd like it to stay about even at 16. Yep, there we go, good enough. Finish. The next thing we'll do is some research. Set some new records there, what is this? Yeah, that's fine. Um, got some dialogue points, story quest points, good to go. Game reviews for SimGov 2. Eight. Overall, I think the sim, uh, government simulation games usually sell pretty well when I make them. Uh, eight. Come on, give me a nine. Yeah, beautiful. All right. Let's generate a game report. Select. Fill out that research. Here we see another system coming out. Points if you can guess which one it is. Right. Anyway, um, let's research mono sound. Actually, let's do game tutorials. It's a gameplay feature, so it actually does help a lot in the improvement of your games. It costs a little bit to develop, but let's be honest, when's the last time you played a game that didn't have, have a tutorial? Even of some sort, like even Rogue Legacy has a tutorial. Spelunky. Uh, surprise hit. Cool. That means it's going to sell pretty well, and that means we're going to get lots of money from it. Let's make the next game in our cycle. It's not going to be that. Develop a new game. Mm. Martial arts. Actually, let's do a post-apocalyptic RPG on the PC with Epic version one, and we will call it Tomb Run. Next, start development. Now, obviously for RPGs, story quests and gameplay matter. Engine matters very, very little overall. You want to devote a little bit of time to it, but honestly, it doesn't matter nearly as much. Same thing with AI. Hit your OK. Look at all that research that we're getting. Sound, not so important. There, we broke our design record by a lot. And if we're lucky, we'll put technology back up to 16. Nope, maybe not. Three, two, one, finish the game. Oops, that didn't work. Oh, awesome, we got another design point out of it. Cool beans. Two run is ready. Release the game. See how Tomb Run does. It's a nine. Come on, nine. Give me a ten. Give me a ten. Give me a ten. Oh, ouch. So this game is an eight. Generate a game report. And then we'll do some research. We will get our mono sound. And we will then uh, research a new topic and then we'll create a new game or not a new game a new game system or game engine the game has already put us up over 400k which is pretty good now when you get a good news report up you'll also notice that your sales for the next month will go up so if you get a chance to do a news report take it Research, mono sound.
Tick tock goes the clock. Good. Research a new topic. Evolution. Why not? Terrible movie, by the way. I say terrible movie, but I really like it. Gotta get that David Duchovny. And talk. Okay. And create a custom game engine that has these things. We will call it the Vox engine. Version one. And that's where we're gonna leave you for the day. All right, thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe or hit the like button below. Um, this was Game Dev Tycoon. I encourage you all to check it out. It's a really great game and it will eat up hours and hours of your life. All right, have a good day.